Nickelodeon is the definition of literally my childhood, getting me parked in front of my TV for hours on end, watching many shows I can quote off the top of my head, such as that time when Mr. Krabs said a five-letter word for happiness. Month, I'm gonna have to give a big shout out to Game Mill Entertainment for sponsoring this video. Ah, oh, we're here again, aren't we? Tutorial. Yeah, we'll figure it out as we go. Holy sh! There are so many characters from a lot of different Nickelodeon franchises too, as well. Wow. I imagine. Holy shit, their character diversity is actually massive. I'm actually kind of impressed. I'm not being paid to say that. Well, let's see here. What do we got as options here? Like, obviously, we know we all want to see SpongeBob racing, but I'm kind of honestly really want to do Jimmy Neutron. Not for the reason you think, actually. Actually, maybe for the reason you think as well. He is, in fact, almost as intelligent as myself, which is a perfect candidate for the character I want to play in this game. There is actually so much stuff I can customize with this. One, one second, let me take a look at my cart options. Holy shit. Sorry, this is a kid's show. Holy jeez. Oh my god, I see bold and brash that I'm not touching any other option. A chief? Mr. Krabs, of course. Who else? Wait, I get customized my crew engineer as well? Oh my god, go with Papa. And my mechanic. What other better mechanic than the Fire Lord Ozai himself? Let's freaking start this. Wait, where where are the people I'm playing against? Oh, there they are. I think those are just all the starter characters, but I see Hey Arnold there. That's a show I watched at one point. See a bunch of Rugrats? How? Oh, wait, that's right. I didn't watch this tutorial. I, okay, so I'm playing, kind of like trying to play this the same way I would Mario Kart. Fifth doesn't seem that bad, though. What does this thing do? Bottle. Am I going to make them drunk? This is a kid's show, but can I make these guys drunk? No, wait, that's just a speed boost. Wait, what is this? Yeah. I've created gnomes on the field. I unfortunately did not avoid my own gnome. Okay, okay. Oh, sh Wait, actually, my gnomes are coming in clutch. I don't think the AIs know. I mean, I don't think the real players know how the gnomes work and how to avoid them properly. I think this is a handy win in the back. Oh, God, there's a thing coming. Is that a blue shell? I mean, a, um, uh, what, what would that be called in this? I don't know, but I got first place so easily. Wait, honestly, though, the map felt kind of short, but, like, if I'm being perfectly honest, that felt really cool. I think this game actually kind of has some sauce to it. Might honestly, like, actually stand a decent chance against other uh, kart racers, such as a different kart game, which I probably am not allowed to mention, by name at least. Okay, but, like, how did I get hit by that as well? What was that? Am I stuck in hell? Oh, that's just a, like a little landmine. Gotcha. Uh, I think, okay, okay. That hand, actually, Mr. Hand there, literally made it impossible for me to see what was going on there. I think I lost my item due to a different item. All right, at some point, using my, all my kart racing game knowledge, I should be able to figure out what all of my items do at some point. I do uh, kind of like how the AIs just run right into the robots. It really makes it easy for me to run right past them and take another win just for free. All right, let's go again. Can we get four wins in a row? That's the question of the day. On a brand new game that I've never touched before in my life, can I get first place in every single race? Keep in mind that I'm outperforming all these real players without even having seen the tutorial before. Just letting you guys know that. So now I just hold this and wait for, oh my God, it's that kid again. Football. It's like when you just chuck a football in a little baby's head and he just, uh. Maybe I should stop speaking for the sake of my reputation. <laughs> what am I talking about? I had no reputation in the first place. Oh, wait, I think I lose now. Yes. Yes, I lose. All right, so the other, just make sure you cut out the part where I instigate the challenge at the beginning. Uh, at least I'm still first, though. Hey, er, um, I know this probably isn't a good time, but I'm kind of contractually obligated to say Nickelodeon Kart Racers 3 Slime Speedway is available now. Do you own any console currently on the market? Well, you can play on everything. Asterisk, the asterisk listing, specifically Nintendo Switch, PC, PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox Series S, and X, and even the Mega Cube. That's not a real console, but if it were, I'm sure you can play it on it. Choose from over 40, you can count on one hand, 40 iconic characters, more than 90 crew members, and 36 different tracks from legendary Nickelodeon shows like Spongebob, TMNT, Avatar, The Better One, and more. It's got voiceover for every playable character, an expansive array of customization options for your carts, and lastly, you can get all the boys together for four-player local multiplayer, and up to 12 players for online gaming. Yo, that's a lot of really cool Features coming together to create the perfect kart racer video game. Now, if only there were a, a clickable link so you can easily access this game. Oh, wait a second, it's right in the description where the arrow is pointing down below. Awesome! Now, if only there were a way to transition back into this delicious course. Uh. Uh,
Yeah, Aang's just like, stop that. Why don't you just airbend at me? Wait, can Aang just airbend at me? If he really wanted to. Oh, wait, what the shit was that? What? Huh? How do I go back? How do I fall? What? There is absolutely no science out there that can explain what just happened to me right there. I just gotta hog up the space. Make sure they can't take my zone. God, the third. Wait, no, second. I'll take second. Wow, all right, so easy game. I have proven to you all that you don't even need tutorials in order to perform well. I mean, like, I didn't make it win every single one with the power of editing, obviously, but honestly, that was pretty solid, not gonna lie. If I'm being perfectly real, how do I describe actual perfection in front of my eyes? Oh, here, I'll put it into terms that you gamers understand. I give this game a Nickelodeon Kart Racers 3 out of Nickelodeon Kart Racers 3. The actual definition of quality that all games should aspire to be like. Demolition, control the golden spatula. I want the gold, I wanna, wait a second. This might actually be my thing. Kids Choice Arena, Double Dare, Slime Factory, Kit, court, Kart, Wash. Uh, ignore that one. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and put the bots on expert difficulty and put it for a free for all. Okay, so this is definitely not a mistake. I'm definitely not gonna get my ass handed to me. They told me to be here or be square, but little did they know I choose to be both. It's a SpongeBob reference, get it? Because he's square. Where is it? Where is it? I'm looking for it. Somebody has it. I see it! Do you think I'll go easy on you because you are a literal infant? Absolutely not. Get over here, you little child! Wait, I didn't take the thing. Wait a second. Why did that take it? I haven't gotten the gold. Where's the my golden spatula, damn it? God, it's like I chose the hardest difficulty or something. I'm face I'm reaping what I sowed. But I I don't like reaping. Then why did you sow? Alright, where in the field is it? It's on here now. I see <gasps> I get an opportunity to get the golden spatula. Let's go! Where is my spatula? If I'm being perfectly honest, it would be really nice if the game if the game gave the item to the person who hit the character. That might be some good game design right there. I'm pretty sure I lose because Oh, wait, how's this, the score? I'm gonna do one more of these and try to go for a win. And maybe at some point, Bro. I'll figure out how the score is calculated. Where's the spatula? Is it gonna spawn in the middle? It did spawn in the middle. Let's go, oh my god, let's go! All right, time to just keep this for the rest of the game. Eee! Wait, did I just automatically, do I just automatically lose it after a certain amount of time? Oh, hey, it spawned right in front of me. Neat, I'll take it. Oh boy, do I love myself some good old fashioned RNG. It's uh, short for skill. So it's not based on how long you hold the spatula for. It's based on how many times you grab the spatula. Wait, it's on the ground again. Unfortunately, Garfield got it. No, that wasn't Garfield. That was Zuko who got it. There he is, protecting his honor. There, I just like stole his honor away from him. The golden spatula there representing Zuko's honor. It's a reference. Oh, the game's over. Well, I got twice. Yo, wait a second, I won! Well, now that I've got the first ever documented golden spatula win ever, I think it's time to move on to a different game mode. Charge your vehicle with slime and cover more ground than the other team? That doesn't seem half bad, actually. On the slime factory, too. Of course, we're gonna put my opponents on expert mode. Man, there's still so many characters I need to unlock. But Zuko's also cool. But nobody's ever heard of Zuko, so... Popular characters. Popular characters are what keep the video's retention going. Alrighty, Zoomers, you know how much we like to relate things to other things. So by saying that, do you guys know what this minigame right here reminds you of? I'm just, I'm just, just inking up the, my opponent's territory. This is strategic, trust me. It seems I'm out of ink. Can I go into squid, I mean into slime form, in order to get more ink? It seems I just had to run back to my own team's territory in order to get more sly. Yeah, it's slime. Let's see, let's go ahead and take this nice little chunk of territory from my enemy team. Alright, well done. Screw it. Zuko may be a niche character, but he's special to me. And he's going on a trip to ink up as many enemy teammates as he can. Fire Nation gang, rise up! Oh yeah, let's just go ahead and cover up this whole section. There's a whole nice little zone over here that I can take uh, like you guys all can fight over that side over there i'm just gonna go ahead and take a little trip down this lane right here oh hey the game's over god it's so easy man look at that high amount of points you may have thought that's really boring for me to do but hey it got us the win so who's really the boring one here i uh, see this is where the avatar was for over a hundred years he wasn't in an iceberg he was just gaming with the boys 
Wait. Oh, I see. Uh, there's a jump button. I understand. Either you know what to do. Congratulate me for figuring out a new technique on my own after ignoring the tutorial. A great job. Alrighty, Lincoln. I see. I got, just got. Wait. At, for, at a first glance, I felt like Aim just flipped them off, but. We're going to need a replay of that. I can't rule it out that if I was in his situation, I certainly would. Holy shit. Zuko just so far in the lead right now. But it seems he just got, uh, I can't say blue shell. Uh, can I say legally distinct blue shell? Am I allowed to do that? I don't know. Okay, the two jump. I'm focusing. My third jump. I got the slide master achievement thing. I think, what? Huh? I'm going full speed, by the way. The game just cheated me out on my first place. Oh, well, as long as SpongeBob doesn't get the win and Zuko takes it, it's not that big of a deal. Yeet. You know, free football. And wait a second, maybe? Oh, God, yeah, baby. Let's go. Editor, quickly, throw in the confetti. Insert the children going, yeah, sound effect. Yes, I may be playing against CPUs, but it's only in order to make myself look better at the game. There is no race in Ba Sing Se. That's the entire joke I want to make. I got absolutely nothing. There's no other memes I can make with this. All I can say is there is no race in Ba Sing Se and what, what next? Just cut back to where I... Uh, I have a ticking mind going off on me. How do I disable... Wait, no, that's right. There's one more. Oh, I thought I was at the end of the video. That's right. There's one more race and then the end of the video. I should probably hold my horses for just a second. Although, yo... This level is kind of flames, not gonna lie. Hmm. Hmm. Who I dares know, you know. again? SpongeBob, my worst nightmare in any video game ever. Come here, boy. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like to say, editor, go ahead and cut that out. But I already know what you're gonna do. So I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. You guys have fun. You all laugh at me, but... I will say, they made for some pretty solid content. What the Alrighty then, second last second lap. I know I'm gonna end the Grand Prix on a dub, but I need to make sure I end the actual, this race specifically on a dub. So let me just like sit up a little bit, focus up, and make sure I get this win so I can at the very least seem like I'm a professional at this game. Uh, minus that one little blunder I made earlier. We'll ignore that one. Well, you, I know you guys won't, but I'll ignore it. That's what matters. Leonardo is so close to my tail. Can I shake him? It's the real question. No! Whatever, football, football. That's actually a good play of me. Letting him take the small lead so I can finish the video on a dub! Hell to the freaking yeah, baby! Yeah, like, uh, let's go ahead. Actually, let's go ahead and hype this game up a little bit. This game, like, well, I know the last level was a flame level, but, like, let's be real. This game is kind of flames. Just gonna say that right now. Not saying that because this is sponsored, by the way. Oh, hey, by the way, you can go ahead and download this game right now on Steam, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox Series S, X, Y, Z, all those, every single thing, every single console out there. You can go ahead and get this game right now on all of those. Uh, yeah, it's uh, part of my little outburst there. I kind of got a little bit in the heat in the moment. <laughs> That's a joke from the last level. But thank you, Game Mill Entertainment, for sponsoring this video. Linked by in the, the down that direction area. You know what I mean.